MotherNode CRM provides the ability to create custom KPI dashboards and assign them to MotherNode modules for quick access and immediate viewing of key performance indicators. Let's first preview the end result to show what you can achieve. For example, while I'm working within the MotherNode Quotes module, I will click KPIs in the upper right, and now I can view this polished, informative KPI dashboard and view key performance indicators for my sales team. This is a dashboard that I've created and assigned to the Quotes function. Now that we've seen the end result, we'll use this video to define dashboards and widgets and show you how to create, manage, and assign dashboards so that you can view easy to understand key performance indicators using your own customized dashboards. So first, let's define what a dashboard is. And that's easy because that's what you're looking at right now, the entire screen with a collection of various KPIs or widgets is known as a dashboard. And you can construct a dashboard in Mother Node to focus on a specific area like quotes, like opportunities, like orders, like invoices, and then you can tie that dashboard to a specific function. For example, if I go to Leads and Opportunities, you'll see that when I click on KPIs, that I have tied a Leads and Opportunities dashboard to the Leads and Opportunities function, so that all I have to do is click on KPIs, and I can see this well laid out overview. So this is also a dashboard. It's a collection of widgets, which are KPIs, and they focus on different areas related to leads and opportunities, and this becomes my leads and opportunities dashboard. Dashboards can be managed, created within the dashboards menu by clicking on manage dashboards, and you see a list of dashboards that we've been working on, you can create a brand new dashboard from scratch or add the dashboard from our library. And I'll show you more on that in just a moment. So the starting point is here and then uh, either from the dashboard or by going to a function in Mother Node and clicking KPIs, you can uh, click this option in the upper right to set your dashboard basically tie the dashboard that you've created to the module in Mother Node in which you want it to appear. And again, dashboards can focus on a specific area, so you can have only quote-related KPIs or widgets within a dashboard tied to the quotes function in Mother Node, and the same with opportunities, same with invoices and so forth. Or you can develop more of an overview dashboard like this one, where you can see information from various areas, various functions in Mother Node, like opportunities uh, that we see here on the left, quotes, orders, and invoices, more information regarding quotes below, uh, more information that the table here uh, lists our top quoted customers, and then you have opportunity-related information related to lead sources, markets, uh, and some order information in graphical form. So putting together general dashboard overviews is quite possible and very doable, and as you can see, they look very, very nice and very informative within Mother Node. So now that we've defined dashboard, let's get into more detail with respect to widgets. And keep in mind that the actual development of a widget, how to create and manage a widget, will be covered in more detail in another video on our YouTube channel. So be sure to check that out related to the creation and management of widgets for dashboards. But a brief description of widgets, there are basically three types of widgets that you can add to dashboards in Mother Node. And this particular dashboard has an example of each one of these. The first, the colored block that you see here that displays a single piece of information and you set the parameters for that single piece of information is known as a metric. So each of these blocks are individual metrics. They can provide a count-based number like the one at the top 
or they can provide a dollar amount number. You set the parameters as far as the type of number that you would like to see uh, over the period of time, what function in mother node this data is pulling from, that type of thing. You can control the size of it once you place it on the dashboard. And as you can see, you can control the color. A second type of widget that's available to you for your dashboard is a chart, something that is chart based like the line based graph that you see here below that depicts quotes that have been won over the last 12 months or a donut graph as you can see here on the right that can depict other types of information very visually. Now Mothernode also provides other types of chart elements for widgets like pie charts and then bar graphs, vertical and horizontal, and others. So you do have a wide selection of charts that can represent data for you on dashboards as well. And then the third type of widget that's available for your dashboard is a table. And so we have an example of that on the left. And uh, basically a table can provide a top to bottom ranking and this could be anything from a sales ladder type of ranking uh, for uh, sales related areas like quotes and orders and invoices. This one happens to rank customers, uh, top quoted customers by dollar amount going from largest to smallest. But you have a lot of flexibility as far as the type of ranking tables that you can develop and add to your dashboard in Mothernode. So with the variety of widget types that you have available in Mothernode and the way that you can present those on a dashboard, it will give you a lot of flexibility in developing your dashboard and the power to present the data that you wish to see exactly the way that you wish to see it. The starting point for all of this in terms of how do I get started? How do I create the dashboard so that I can subsequently add widgets or KPIs to it? That starting point is from the dashboards menu. Click manage dashboards. You'll see a list of any dashboards that you may have created or that you're working on to date. There are two ways to add a new dashboard to your dashboard list and those two methods are located in the upper right. You can start a new dashboard from the very beginning, from scratch, so to speak, by clicking New Dashboard. I simply click New Dashboard. I'll enter the dashboard name here. And then if I click Edit, I can add a little more information. I can add a description in the description field. I also have the option of keeping the dashboard private, meaning for my viewing only, or I can make it public so it's available for my team to access as well. The option to the right of that allows me to apply a light background to the entire dashboard. And if I prefer a dark background to the dashboard, I can apply that as well. Once I have created the dashboard, I have the ability to switch between the two and see what looks more attractive and go with one or the other, but I can always switch that at a later time. And then the rest of the process is adding KPIs or widgets to the dashboard. And I start that process by clicking the drop down arrow here for add widget, as you can see. And this is where I can choose one of the options that I just described, a metric, a table, or a chart. Now from here, please tune in to our video on widget creation and management so we can spend more time on that part of the process. But I wanted to show you the starting point. Now from an existing dashboard. If I go into one of these, let's say the leads and opportunities dashboard, I simply click edit on the right. And then I can edit things further here. I can add additional widgets. But when I go through the process, then I can see things taking shape as I add widgets and I can move them around. Uh, for example, if I wanted to uh, move this metric 
from the top to the bottom, very easy to drag and drop. It's very fluid as you can see. The uh, little uh, double arrow that you see in the lower right allows me to resize a widget so I, I can adjust the size as well. That's a nice feature. Uh, so I can move things around, I can resize widgets, I can do all of that to customize it uh, and make it my own. And as I make any adjustments or additions to my dashboard, I need to be sure to click Save Dashboard to save any additions or changes. Also note that as I highlight a uh, or mouse over a particular widget that's been created, in addition to the arrow that I can click to resize a widget on my dashboard, there are three options that appear in the upper right of each widget, as you can see. I can click the gear symbol to edit it. I can click the duplicate symbol to actually create a new widget by duplicating the existing one. It may save me some time by copying, if you will, and then modifying the new or copied widget. And then, of course, to delete, if necessary, I can click the trash can symbol. And again, always click Save Dashboard when you make any changes to your dashboard whatsoever. If I go back to Manage Dashboards, another note here on the list as you build a list of dashboards, keep in mind that in addition to being able to edit your dashboard, you can duplicate a dashboard. Once again, it can be a time-saving function uh, to allow you to create a copy of a dashboard and simply modify it if you believe that there are similarities between the new dashboard and the existing one. It could save you some time. And then, of course, delete is here only if necessary because once you delete it, it's gone. The second method for adding a new dashboard is through our library. Over time, Mothernode adds dashboards that we believe are useful to our users to a dashboard library. You can do that through Add Dashboard. You'll see a list of the shared or added dashboards uh, to the library, and it's simply a matter of scrolling through. You can search at the top, as you can see. Uh, just click Close or the X in the upper right to close out of this window but we make it very easy for you to scroll through, uh, to click preview just to get a sense of what the dashboard represents. You just click preview and you can see a sample of that dashboard. Uh, you can click add to add it to your own dashboard list and then you can go in and customize it, modify it, make it your own. So for this one titled Opportunities 1, all sales rep 12 month overview, I can uh, preview it and then I can, if I decide that I'd like to add it, I can click add and then I can see that it's been added. The list is sorted alphabetically so I can see it here, Opportunities 1, and then I can go in and edit it accordingly and make adjustments to the widgets, uh, make these fit our own organization and our organization's numbers and uh, move things around, move widgets around, uh, recolor things, resize things, but it gives me a starting point and it may save some time so I don't have to recreate or create the dashboard from the beginning. So I have two ways of creating a dashboard, as you can see, as we've demonstrated. Now, once you've set up a dashboard and you would like for that to be your default KPI screen for a module in Mother Node like opportunities, quotes, orders, invoices, and so forth, then the way that you tie it to a specific module in Mother Node to be the default is to go into the dashboard. There are actually two ways to do this. So the first one is to go into the dashboard itself. You've been editing it, saving your changes. Now you're ready to tie it to a specific function in Mother Node. Simply go to Set KPI in the upper right, click that, and it will provide you a list of the mother node modules that you can tie the dashboard to. This is my leads and opportunities dashboard. I would like to tie it to leads and opportunities. I simply make the selection, click save changes, and this will now become the default dashboard when I click KPIs in the leads and opportunities list. 
Now, the second way that you can tie a dashboard to a specific function in MotherNode is from the dashboard itself. So we see the option here in the upper right for this dashboard called Set Dashboard. I simply click that and now I can reassign it to another module within MotherNode. So if I click on Quotes here, for example, for whatever reason, if I wanted to reassign this to Quotes, I select Quotes, click Save Changes, go back to my Quotes function, click KPIs, and now we see that this becomes my new dashboard for Quotes. And conversely, I can always go back and change it back because I realize that it's a better fit within my Leads and Opportunities module. I'll go back, click KPIs, and it's back where it belongs. So this covers the process of creating and managing dashboards and subsequently linking them to specific modules in MotherNode. All of those processes, again, very easy. It can be a fun process as well because the results can look very, very attractive and very informative as you can see here. Don't forget to watch our video on widget creation and management. For additional tutorials and information on MotherNode CRM features, please visit our YouTube channel, MotherNode CRM Support Center, or contact us with any questions at customer.support at mothernode.com.